Hey guys, I have a haul here for you. It's a pretty big Yankee Candle haul. I have two different cells together in one video because I have my friends and family haul from uh, last last week when I was on vacation. I went to vacation in California to see my brother get married when I was in the wedding, so I wasn't able to be here for the friends and family, but my Yankee that I usually go to they were really nice and they let me go in the day that I left and I picked out what I wanted and then she added up the total for me and I wrote a check for him and she put in a bag and put the check in the bag and then on I think Thursday she rang it all up for me the day of the sell. So then when I came back on just this past Tuesday, a week later, I went in and picked it up for me. So that was so cool that they did that for me. Because they know that I, you know, I come in there all the time and buy everything. And I always go to every friends and family almost. So they just let me go ahead and do that ahead of time and then pick it up after when I got back. So I have that haul. And then I also have a haul from the buy, buy one, get one that just ended, expired today. Today is Sunday the 29th, March 29th. And it, the coupon expired today. And I got the email and I'm like, okay, I really want the new summer sense. And... What I should have done was I was going to get this new summer sense at the friends and family Because I asked if they were going to be out by then and they said they didn't know for sure So I thought well, I'm not gonna before I left for vacation I'm like I'm not gonna get any candles that the the summer scents are gonna be out But I don't know why I didn't think of this I should have just bought any six candles and then I could have just went later and exchanged them for the new summer scents when they came out I can't believe I didn't think of that you think I wouldn't have, you think I haven't been buying candles for all these years but I didn't do that. So anyway, I just got some milk cups at the friends and family. But then I got the email saying they, that the buy one, get one expired today. So I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and go get some summer scents. And then when I was there, she's like, you can go ahead and do buy two, get two if you want to as well. Or buy three, get three. And I'm like, well, crap. I got to take advantage of that. So I did buy two, get two. So I got four tumblers and I got my milk cups of friends and family and then I also got some car jars that I went and did and a few votives at the dollar tart sale and votive sale uh, that just happened this past week that's still going on now I don't know when that ends for sure so I have quite a bit of stuff here so I'm gonna try to get started so it's not too too long a video so okay first of all I'll start with my milk cups that I got at the friends and family they were on sale for five for twenty so I got twenty of them I'm sorry, five for, they were on sale for five for ten. So I got 20 of them and I spent $40. So when they were five for ten, that made them $2 each, which is an awesome deal because they're normally $4.99 each. So now they were $2 each, which I couldn't pass that up because that's a good, good deal. So I got 20, like I said, and these are what I got. I'll show you here real quick. First of all, I got... This one is vanilla cupcake. I got two of these. And this one is just, just a real nice bakery-ish cupcake smell. Creamy vanilla bakery-ish smell. It's really good. Um, sometimes the candles in this, um, Yankee candles especially, they don't have a very good throw. But my, my centerpiece is so good and the throw is so much stronger and lasts longer. So I thought, well, I'll try them the centerpiece and see if the throw will be better than the candle form because I think I've had this candle years ago and it wasn't very strong. So um, I figured the milk cups might be stronger. So I went ahead and picked two of those up. So hopefully I will have a good throw with those. And next I have Luau Party. And this one I've never had before in a tart or a candle. And this one's just fruity. It's a... Uh, I can't really, it's not real pineapple. It has a pineapple in the front. It looks like a pineapple and like a, it looks like a mango that has a drink inside the mango. But I kind of get, it's very fruity, but it's not really, maybe pineapple mixed with a little mango, papaya type of stuff. It's just fruity. I, I can't really pinpoint any certain fruit scent. It smells good though, so we'll see how that one goes. And then I also got Picnic in the Park. And this one is a new, excuse me, it's one of the new summer scents that came out earlier, a few months back, I think. 
And then, of course, they have the newer ones that just came out a few weeks ago. But this was the first set of summer scents that came out, along with Peach Cobbler and the like. And this one here... This one's okay. This one I smell mostly... I get a coconut smell in there, which I'm not sure what picnic in the park has to do with coconut. I mean, I guess you could have coconuts at a picnic, but... It's coconut with a little bit of something else. I'm not sure exactly what else I'm picking up in there, but... I mean, it smells nice, so I wanted to try it because it's a new one, and I wanted to see how that went, so pick that one up. Now I have Sun and Sand, and this one is a really good classic scent. I love this scent. I've had it in the candle and the tarts, I believe, both. And it's just, this one smells just like copper tone suntan lotion to me. Not coconut, not like the coconut suntan lotion, but like copper tone suntan lotion. When I was little, my mom used to use coconut, or I'm sorry, copper tone all the time. And that's what it reminds me of. It's just totally suntan lotion, and it, you just think of, like, the beach. You think of the sand, you think of the water, the sun, and everything with, with this scent. It just totally brings back all those memories of when you were at the beach in, in days gone by and days to come. It's just total just summer scent, beach scent in this milk cup. And next we have Lilac Blossoms. And this one I got because I've had this before in a tart and I really liked it. I'm not real big on florals, as you all know, but Brad likes them a lot, so I figured I always try to get some for him. Plus, I do like spring uh, floral scents, like in the spring. That's when I do like to burn them, or melt them, or burn them, because it makes it really fresh in the house and just, just brings a lot of freshness to the house. And this one smells so good. Smells just like lilacs. Mmm, that's really good. And lilacs is probably one of the florals I do actually like more so than some of the others. It's, it's florally, but not like super strong. It's just, just really good. I like it. So, next I got a coconut and vanilla bean. This one I came out, I think it came out last summer. This one's really nice too. This one is coconut and it's like a sweet coconut, which is the vanilla. It makes it a little sweet. It smells very similar to uh, black coconut, which I had black coconut in the Tuic tumbler and I could not smell a thing at all and I took it back last year. So I'm hoping this one in the milk cup will be a little bit stronger because it smells very similar to that except it's a little bit more uh, sweeter, probably because of the vanilla in there. And next we have Turquoise Sky, which is another favorite of mine. I had it last year in a, the candle. I think I had, I had the two-week tumbler in that. This one's really nice. It's just very uh, a watery note. Watery. Uh, that's pretty much, um, that's really all I can, how I can describe it. Just a water note. Maybe slightly a bit of a cologne scent to it, but mostly kind of a watery scent to, to that. It's really nice. Oh, and I have another. I had two lilac blossoms. And next is pink sands. And this one I've never had. I've had golden sands before in the Tuic tumbler, and it, it was really light. I couldn't smell much of it all. But I've heard a lot of good things about this one, so I picked it up in the uh, milk cup. This one is really... It's hard to describe. It smells nice. It's a little perfumey, but then it also smells like... A little perfume note mixed with like, um, kind of like that pink sugar scent that a lot of the that has a, in a lot of melts and stuff nowadays. The pink sugar kind of smell. It smells to me like that, with like a little bit of a perfumish note to it. So I'm excited to try that and see how that is because I've heard so much about that one. Okay, now I have Citrus Tango, and this one is. Just very citrusy. And it basically has what every what is on the picture here. It's got, you can smell like grapefruit. It's just everything mixed together. The grapefruit, the lime, the lemon, the orange. It's all that mixed together. Very citrusy. So I think that one will probably, probably be pretty strong. Next I got Bahama Breeze. And this one, I've never picked this one up before because I... 
it's just kind of okay to me. I've smelled it before many times and it's all right. It reminds me a lot of like, it has two pictures of like, you know, the little uh, foo-foo type of drinks on the front, the margaritas and daiquiris and all the kind of thing. It does remind me of that, which I do like. So I don't know, I actually think I might end up liking this more than what I think I'm gonna like it. All right, now we have Midnight Jasmine. And this one I've had, I believe I had this one in the Tarte before. And it's really nice too, even though, you know, like I said, I like florals more in the springtime. But it was, the one, I, the Tarte I had was very strong. And this one is just like, you get the Jasmine, florally Jasmine scent to it. It's really nice, really nice, I like it. And now we have Ocean Star. And this one is very similar to Turquoise Sky, but yeah, let me smell the Turquoise Sky. I have the Turquoise Sky right here. They're very similar, very similar. Um, I would say the Turquoise Sky smells just a little bit stronger, but, but they both smell very, very watery, very just blue, like a blue water scent. It's kind of hard to describe. With, with kind of, like I said, a cologne smell, but not like, you know, Drac, or not Dirk Harp Noir. Uh, oh gosh, you know, the black one that smells like Dirk Harp Noir. You know what I'm talking about. I had it years ago. They've had it forever. I cannot believe I cannot think of the name of it. It's the, uh, the black one, Midnight. Oh gosh. Yeah, you know what it is, Midnight Something. It's the Black Yankee Candle one. Comment down below, you'll know what it is. But it smells, you know, it's not like that. That's like a real strong cologne scent. This one is like just a little bit of a cologne, but mostly bluish water type of scent to it. Okay, and now almost every video I have, like there's always one scent that I can never remember and every video I do, and it never fails. Okay, next I have Margarita Time. And this one I had last year in the Tuic Tumbler, and I really, really liked it. Mmm, it's so good. This is very authentic margarita. It's not like uh, the margarita from Island Margarita from Bath and Body Works. It's not quite as authentic. This is more authentic. It's, you get the lime with... It just smells like a margarita. It's not real strong on the salt note, but it, it smells like the lime, um, you know, and the, the, the margarita mix with a, with a slightly salty note to it. It's really nice, I like it. So I had to pick that up in the wax, uh, milk cup. Next I got Meadow Showers. And I've never had this one before either. This one's nice too. This one for some reason reminds me of my grandma's house and I don't know why. <sighs> Something she had in her house that smelled like this. I don't know if it's some kind of laundry detergent she had, but it just reminds me of my grandma's. But I, it kind of reminds, you do get like kind of a, a rain scent to it. it. Smells like rain a little bit. It's really good, I really like it. So I'm gonna be excited to try that. I think this one would be good like on a, like a rainy day. Okay. And then we have Berrylicious. And this one I had, I think I had a votive last summer I bought, and it was okay. Um, it's, it's blueberry with like kind of a bakery note, but not really, really strong bakery, but definitely blueberry. It smells good, but a lot of the bakery candles and, and wax melts I've had before, I just haven't been all that crazy about. Um, they're okay. I know a lot of people like them a lot, but um, they're just okay to me. But I thought I'd try this one and this one and see how I, how I like it in the milk cup. It might be just a little bit stronger. Okay, Red Raspberry is the next one. And this one I had already when I first bought my centerpiece. I bought like, I think seven milk cups. And this was one of my got. And this one was really, really good. Just very authentic raspberry, juicy raspberry. That's pretty much all you smell. It was really good. So I had to pick up another one. And this one is another one I also had when I bought my centerpiece. Lavender Vanilla. 
This one is so good. Just a sweet vanilla lavender. It's just very soft, very, very soft. It smells so, so nice and relaxing. And then the last one is another margarita time. I picked up two of those. And then after I bought these, they just released a cotton candy in a melt cup. So I'm thinking about maybe taking one of the ones I got a duplicate in and switching it out for the cotton candy, even though I've been hearing cotton candy doesn't have a good throw in the candle or the milk cup. But I have to try it for myself. I just have to see for myself if, how it's going to be. Because the cotton candy, just the whole idea of the cotton candy, everybody just loves. And I love cotton candy too and cotton candy scents. So I I'm, I'm just think I'm just going to have to try for myself and see if, if I get a throw out of it or not. All right, now let's see. Um, next I will do my... I'm just going to go real quick what, on my uh, dollar car jars that I got. I had 10 of them. So I'm just going to show you real quick what I got. I got one Picnic in the Park. I got an Ocean Star. Coconut Bay, Cranberry Chutney, which I can't wait to smell this because I've never had a candle. I almost got a candle last year of that because I've heard good things about it, but I've never had one. So I figured, you know, I'll see what it's like in the car jar. I got a red raspberry, turquoise sky, pink sands, margarita time, a new one, Beach Holiday. This is the only new summer scent that they had in the car jars. And that I sell, at my store anyway. And then I got Sweet Strawberry. And then today, when I went to get my uh, buy one, get one, well, buy two, get two is what I ended up doing. When I was checking out, they also had the, I went to a different store. I have two different Yankees, and I went to the other one that I sometimes go to. I kind of switch back and forth because sometimes I'll go to one and they don't have certain stuff. I'll go to the other one and they have different stuff. So I kind of like to go back and forth. Um, they had some other uh, dollar car jars at the counter and they had cranberry pear, which I've had before. Um, if you saw on one of my uh, vlogs before, I had this one and it was really, really good. It was super, super strong and it lasted for like weeks. So I wanted to pick, I picked up two more of these and I already had put one in my car. So um, the car jars are very hit and miss. I stocked up on some when I placed an order last, end of last year, I believe. I, I picked up like nine or so car jars. I can't remember how many. So I'm just now opened my last one the other day. It was French vanilla. That one could not smell at all all. I smelled it slightly when I opened it, but it wasn't very strong. The next day I go to my car, the next morning, I couldn't smell anything at all. It was nothing. Zero. It was zilch. Completely nothing. So I took that one down, threw it away, and I put this one in. This one is smelling really, really strong. And, But, I mean, some of the car jars, you can smell them for like a few days, and some of them last for weeks. It just kind of depends. But I have pretty good luck with these. I tried some of the other ones, like I've said before, the little ones that uh, have like the little, the little small ones that have like the little gel in them. Those I have had terrible luck with. I can't smell them at all. I mean, maybe I just had bad luck and maybe some of them do smell, but I just try to pick up these. You can't beat them when they're a dollar on sale, so I usually stock up on them when they have the dollar sales. So I'm pretty good with those for a while. And then I also picked up some candles for votives at the dollar sale too because I wanted to try some of the new summer scents. So I picked up three of the white... Ch okay, sorry about that. I got a phone call. Brad was calling me real quick. I keep meaning when I do my vlogs, my, or, vlogs or my hauls and stuff, I keep forgetting to put it in airplane mode because people have told me if you put it in airplane mode, you don't get interrupted by phone calls and I always forget to do that. Okay, anyway, where was I? I got the votives. I got three uh, white chocolate apple because I wanted to try them because I haven't bought any of the new, well, I, at the time I bought these, I hadn't bought any new ones. I should have just waited because I ended up buying this, but oh well. 
So now I have three votives of white chocolate apple. I bought three for my mixology uh, holder. And then I also bought three of the saltwater taffy. Which I ended up getting some candles, but I'll just probably just, I'll probably end up melting these with the candle, the, th the tumbler, and then I should get a really good scent throw. Hopefully, I'll put them in the same room together. Which now brings me to my buy one, get one, which turned into a buy two, get two. So I wanted to try all the new summer scents, so I got them all except for one. Okay, first up, I got Saltwater Tappy. And I was going to look up the description of this online, but I forgot. But it doesn't really matter. I'll just tell you what it smells like. This one smells like salt water taffy. It just smells like a lot of the uh, wax smells that have been out, like the fresh pulled taffy. And um, there's another one. I thought there was another taffy candle or wax melt, but I can't think of what it is. It smells a lot like that. Um, can't really describe it. It's just a sugary candy taffy kind of smell. This one I think smells pretty strong, so I'm hoping it has a good throw. And I couldn't pass it up because they were in the tumblers. I was so happy because lots of times when the candles first come out, they don't have them in the tumblers for a while. They just have them in the jars, and which you know I don't have the patience for a jar. I'm struggling with my other jars I have now. The Lucky Shamrock's taking forever to burn. My uh, jelly beans isn't doing too bad, but I have to foil it first to get that wax pull because it just takes way too long if I don't, and I'm not home long enough to burn it all day long. But anyway, so hopefully that'll have a good throw. And then I got white chocolate apple. And this one is pretty, I love white wax candles, so I can't wait because they burn so good and so the wax is clear and I love it. This one, this one just pretty much to me smells like apple. Um, I get a little bit of, I don't really get much white chocolate, a chocolate or even a white chocolate scent. I get mostly apple with maybe a slight hint of caramel, but not much. It, it kind of smells like a fall scent to me. This I think you could burn in the fall, but you know, apples, you can eat apples anytime, so it really don't matter, I guess. You could, you know, burn in the summertime too. So, um, that is, smells really good though. So, I've heard that that's good, so hopefully it will be good. And then I got Beach Holiday. And I've heard this one's good too. This one, this one's pretty strong to me, on cold snip anyway. It's... How do I describe this? It's very watery too. I get a watery note, kind of like the Ocean Star and Turquoise Sky, but it's slightly different. It's kind of similar to those two. It's very similar to those two. Now that I think about it, it's very similar to Ocean Star and Turquoise Sky, but it's slightly a little bit different in there. Um, I really wish I would have wrote down the description, but. Um, it's got a little bit of a, a light cologne scent. I will say that, a light cologne scent to it with the watery scent. But it does kind of smell like a beach holiday. I really like that one. So I'm hoping it'll throw good because it's pretty strong on cold scent. And then the last one I got with, I couldn't decide between this one and I ended up getting cotton candy. I couldn't decide between this one and Windblown. I almost got Windblown because I've heard that this is not throwing very well. I've heard multiple people on Facebook and, and on YouTube say that it just doesn't have much of a throw. I don't think I've read a review yet on YouTube. Or I don't think I've seen a review, but I've just heard people on Facebook a lot talk about how this is just not strong. But I'm like, you know, it's not very strong cold sniff either. But it's very light on cold sniff. But it is very sugary. It's like a sponge sugar. 
I don't really get that pink sugar smell necessarily, but I get more like a sponge sugar, like a light, sweet sponge sugar scent. It smells nice, but it's not super strong and cool sniff, so, you know, I'll be satisfied with maybe just even a light throw with this. But I'm like, you know, I, I was really excited about this when I heard it, so I'm like, I, I have to try it. If, if you know, if, if worse thing worse, I'll just take it back and exchange it for windblown if it, if it doesn't have any throw at all. So, that is it. That is my friends and family dollar tarts and votive sale and car jar sale and my buy to get two free. So, I can't wait to start burning. I gotta start burning because I got a lot here to burn and melt. So, I should be good for a while between this and then some of the Yankee Candle or Bath and Body Work candles I've, I've bought. So, I should be good for a while. I need to be just start melting some stuff. So, all right, that's about it. I'm going to end this now, and thanks so much for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more videos, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.